The CICU is a 24-bed critical care unit for the sickest pediatric patients with cardiac disease or cardiac abnormalities. The majority of our patients have congenital heart disease, but we also have heart failure and heart transplant patients too. Approximately 50% of our patients come straight from the OR after cardiac surgery. A common misconception about the CICU is that we only take care of heart problems. Our patients' underlying cardiac issues impact virtually every other body system. Our nurses become well-rounded experts in intensive care, not just cardiac care. One thing that's unique about our CICU is that we recover cardiovascular OR patients in the unit. You'll learn to both recover and care for post-op kiddos. You will become familiar with cardiac intensive care equipment and processes. Many of our patients are on ventricular assist devices, or VADs. Some of our patients have temporary or permanent pacemakers, and our nurses also become familiar with defibrillators. CICU nurses can train to be on specialty teams, CRRT, or Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy, and ECMO, Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation. We have around 100 nurses and hire two new grad cohorts each year. We have a tiered orientation that's tailored to the nurse's level of experience. For new graduates, it's a 13-week initial orientation. Tier A starts with a one-week boot camp for the basics, then you'll work at the bedside with a preceptor to learn lower acuity care, rotating between day and night shifts. After that, you'll work independently at the bedside to develop critical thinking, time management, and delegation skills for six to eight months before starting Tier B. On Tier B orientation, you'll learn to care for higher acuity patients, such as fresh heart transplants and patients on ECMO. On Tier B, we have an entire week dedicated to learning how to admit, recover, and care for patients directly from the CVOR. You'll even get to spend time in the CVOR with the surgical team to witness a case and then experience the transition from the CVOR to the CICU for post-operative care. It can take around 18 months to complete orientation from your first day to when you've completed all the Tier B high acuity shifts we want you to experience. After orientation, our nurses can sit for their pediatric CCRN certifications, and we have resources to prepare and support you through that process. Our shifts are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. New hires choose a semi-permanent shift at six months, day or night, to finish their orientation. At a year, all nurses go to straight night shifts until a day shift spot opens, based on requests and seniority. Our nurse-patient ratios are never more than one to two. Higher acuity patients, such as heart transplant patients or patients on ECMO, will have two nurses each. We have 12 to 17 nurses per shift with a good mix of skill levels, so you'll always have backup if you run into questions or need additional support. We recently initiated nurse-led rounds. On the day shift, CICU nurses present to a collaborative, multidisciplinary team with a scaled back set of rounds in the evening with the night attending. The CICU is a supportive, all hands on deck environment. Our educator team frequently meets with our new grads and all new bedside RNs have scheduled check-ins with our charge nurse teams. Our nurses are motivated, driven, accountable, and coachable. We are a team of lifelong learners. We aren't afraid to ask questions. You can learn something new here every single day. The most challenging thing about working in the CICU is when our patients have unexpected outcomes or pass away. We are fixers by nature, and when we can't fix what's wrong, it hurts. We are the face patients and families see during the darkest times in their lives. That's an honor, but it's also a challenge. That's why we're here for each other. We tell new hires, we come to the CICU to take care of sick kids, but we stay because of our coworkers. No one can get you through the hard times better than someone who has done it themselves. We schedule medical debriefs on complex patients who have been in the hospital a long time. We do hot debriefs immediately after codes and resuscitations to discuss what went well and what we could have done better. We take full advantage of all the mental health resources at Children's Mercy, including therapy dog visits, the Center for Wellbeing, and chaplaincy support during rough shifts. But it's not all rough shifts. The good days far outweigh the bad. As a CICU leader, it's rewarding to watch new nurses grow and become confident. And the very best part of working in the CICU is seeing kids who have been very sick and fragile get to go home healthy. The updates we get from our families telling us how great their kids are doing, those make it all worth it.